I will now hand over the presentation to Mr. DeJarvis Leonard. Mr. Leonard. Thank you, Callie, and thank you for joining us at the uh, February 6, 2020 media briefing for 5920 Bridge, which we call the CBD Bridge, Central Business District Bridges through downtown Birmingham. This is the first briefing that we have had since we've opened into traffic. We're excited about the opening, and we want to thank motorists for being so patient with us through uh, the one-year closure of the 5920 through downtown Birmingham. Uh, we are very excited about how well the teachers did operate, and we appreciate your willingness to take to taking alternate routes uh, during that period of time. I'll run through, as usual, the layout of the project as we constructed it, and that was phase A, which was the lengthening, uh, the replacement of the bridges at 12th and 31st Street. Uh, that's those bridges there. Uh, we also completed those back in 2016, and uh, they've been operating since that time. We also have Phase 1, which was a widening of the bridges at 2nd, 3rd, and 4th Avenue North on I-65. That's a shot of those bridges that was completed. This is the um, phase two, which was the modification of the interchange at I-59, 20, and I-65. This is a rendering of phase two uh, that we use early on in our media awareness program. Make citizens aware of what the bridge was going to look like and the changes of the interchange. And I want to show you a view also of the actual interchange. I'll go back. This is the rendering that we used back in 2015, late 2015, up until we actually got everything in place. And this is a view of the actual project. Uh, our engineers did an excellent job and uh, depicting what the actual bridges would look like prior to the construction. This is a view of phase three. We're looking towards the airport. We've got the bridges at 12th and 31st Street. And this is a view of the actual project. I'll go back, rendering, and the actual shot of the project. Again, this was a valuable tool for both ALDOT to communicate to the community what the project would look like. It also was a valuable uh, tool for our inspection team, the contractors, and everyone to, to have a good view of how this would all come together. This is a view of the mainline bridges, Sheraton Hotel, the uh, parking deck at the Western. And that's a view of the rendering. This is the actual construction project. Note the elevation of the bridges here on the actual completion of the project. Note the elevation on the rendering. Again, I want to compliment our engineers who put this together. They did an excellent job. This is a video that shows traffic on the new bridges, which we're looking toward the airport, traveling 59 northbound, I-20 eastbound. And this is the uh, diversion, elevated diversion where you separate the northbound 59 and the southbound traffic. This is the ramp going to 65 northbound. This is the exit ramp to 17th Street from 59 northbound. This is the elevated ramp that goes to 65 southbound from 11th Avenue. This is the 11th Avenue to 65 south northbound and 59 southbound. Here's a view of all the ramps coming together at 17th Street from 65 northbound, 65 southbound, and 
from 59. All coming together to go down to uh, 17th Street. Now we're entering the area where the bridge, Segnell Bridge uh, is constructed. This is both the eastbound and the westbound bridges. That's the ramp to 17th Street there to your right. Coming up to the Alabama School of Fine Art, Outwell Auditorium. This is the new ramp that goes to Red Mountain Expressway, US 280, eastbound. Sheraton Hotel on your left. This is the new ramps that come from Red Mountain Expressway, north to 59 South. And this is also the ramp that comes together and they tie from 31st Street. This exit is the exit to 31st Street if you're traveling eastbound. We are very excited about how the bridges are functioning and operating. We think the contractor did an excellent job in overall getting everything in place and allowing everything to function. These are the ramps on ramp to go to 59, and that's the off ramp to go to from 59. Uh, Southbound to get into downtown. These are your exit and on exit and on ramps at 25th Street. This is the bridges at 31st Street. That's the bridge at 12th Avenue. I think this video is an excellent uh, testimony of the project as a whole. We're very excited about. It. However, we're not finished with the project. We're still performing work underneath the bridges. We have some drainage and some grading that has to take place underneath the bridges to get all that back into shape and get it ready for uh, when we actually let the project for city walk. But we'll be closing some streets occasionally along the way to perform this work. We will be sending out media advisories weekly, as we always have, to keep the motors informed of the street closures. We will not be having a, a monthly media briefing going forward. We'll probably do a quarterly media briefing going forward. But we want you to be able to be kept informed by the media advisories that we'll be sending out uh, every week. Again, we want to thank you for your patience uh, for all that you've done for this project. And be mindful of the individuals who are out there working. Be mindful to drive safely, obey all your signs, buckle up, and don't be impaired or distracted when you're driving. We also have to show you a short clip of uh, City Walk. We're still working on that. We're in the final design of City Walk, and we hope to let that to contract before the, uh, sometime this summer in order to be able to uh, move forward with this project and get some of it done maybe before the world game. This is another view of the conceptual master plan. With that, I thank you for attending and I'll turn it back over to Cap. Okay, thank you, Mr. Leonard. As a reminder, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and the 5920 Bridge website. At this time, we're going to begin taking questions. Again, if you'll please type your question in the box on the lower right-hand side of the screen, we will answer them in the order they are received. Okay, it looks like we don't have any questions. So at this time, Mr. Leonard, is there anything else you want to add before we conclude the call? No, this, thank you, uh, Kelly, for your help. And we thank the media and we thank the uh, public for all their support. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Leonard. As a reminder, we will post a recording of this presentation on the 5920 website at 5920bridge.com. The website contains all the most current information and all of the updated closure announcements. There's also a media gallery there for photos and current content. If you have any questions following today's meeting, please contact Linda Crockett. If nothing else at this time, this will conclude today's meeting.
Thanks again to everyone who joined.